All right, let's talk grades. So, when you go on your syllabus, you'll oftentimes see, um, and this is for any class whatsoever in college grades, in college. So what you're going to see is that your syllabus will break things down in terms of percent. So I'm just gonna make something up and we'll talk about how to calculate your grade at the end and how to calculate your grade at any time in between. So for example, let's say your homework on the syllabus says it's worth 20%. Your um, exams, let's go ahead and say they're worth 40%. Let's say you've got some kind of uh, presentation in there and it's worth 20%. And then let's say you have a final exam that's worth 20%. So hopefully that adds up to 100%. Okay, so this is on the syllabus. And you wanna calculate your grade at any given point. Well, the first thing you do is move these all into decimal percents. So essentially you've moved the decimal place over two times. Or another way you can think about it is you divide it by 100. And now you can take this value and multiply it by your respective grade. So let's say your homework grade is like 80. Your exams, and it doesn't matter, we could be talking about your first exam or your four, or maybe you had four exams and they're each worth 10%. If you take your average of your exam, that's what's gonna go here. So your average of all your exams will go right here. So let's say you got 70. Your presentation, so good job on your presentation. You rocked it, you got a 95. And your final exam, oh, that was a rough one. You got a 65. All right, so if these happen to be your grades, you got an 80 in homework, you got a 70 on your exam, you got a 95 on your presentation, and a 65 on your final exam, you can calculate your grade by multiplying each of these things and then summing them up. So let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and do it. Um, so obviously it's 16.4 times 70 gives me 28.2 times 95. 9.5 times 2 or 0.95 times 2 or 1.9. Nope, just kidding. 19. Sorry, I'm doing too much math in my head. And then... 0.2 times 65 gives me 13. Let's go ahead and add these up. We got 13 plus 19 plus 28 plus 16. And this gives me 76. So this would be your grade. Now that's great, but this is if you already have this information, right? What if you're at some point in the middle of the class and you haven't done your presentation and you haven't taken your final exam? Well, let's go ahead and calculate that. So no final, no presentation yet. No worries. Go ahead and do exactly what we started off doing. So now your grade is only based on your homework and your exams, right? So we've got 0 0.2 and 0 0.4. Again, it doesn't matter if you've taken one exam, two exams, three exams. Now you could calculate them individually. I just like using an average because your exam averages usually end up being the same throughout the semester. Um, although you, you want them to be better. So let's say you've got an 80 on your homework and on your exams, again, let's say you've got a 70% average. So let's go ahead and do that. 0.2 times 80. 16.4 times 70 is 28. Oh no, this looks kind of scary, right? But let's go ahead and add these up, kind of follow the same thing. I promise you don't have a, was this a 44? Now you take this and you divide by the percent of that. So if you add this up, that's 0 0.6 which equals 60%, right? 
So now you're gonna take this and divide it by 60, and that will give you your grade. 44 divided by 60. And I get a 73. You would multiply it by 100%. Equals a 73%. So at this point in your game, before you have your presentation, before you have your final exam, you have a 73. So again, um, you only look, you add up the information for what you have, and then you figure out that percent there. Now, um, let's see, another way, let's go ahead and solidify it with another example maybe. A common question you get is what do I need on the final And that's going to be like to get whatever you want, an A or something like that. Now, each class has their own individual grading scale, so make sure you um, go to that grading scale and know it really well. So let's go back to this. Our homework is going to be the same, right? Our homework is going to be 20%. Our exams are 40%. Our presentation, let's say you already finished your presentation. If you didn't, no worries. You can calculate it the same way. And then your final is 20%. Now let's go back and do the exact same stuff. So let's say on your homework, 0 0.2 times 80. Your exams, you finished them all by now, let's say. And even if you didn't, um, you could break them out individually and use this same concept. Your presentation, 0 0.2 times 95. And your final exam is going to be 0 0.2 times X. And remember, you want them all to add up to an A. So most classes, an A will be a 90. In other words, what we've got right here is 0 0.2 times 80 plus 0 0.4 times 70 plus 0 0.2 times 95 plus 0 0.2 times x equals the grade that you want of a 90. And this is what you're going to solve for. Now I can add up these three real quick here. Let's go ahead and do the math just to show you. So if you remember, this one's 16 plus this is 28. And when I say this one, I'm talking about that. This is 28. This is 19. So now we have 16 plus 28 plus 19. In other words, 63 plus 0 0.2 times x is going to equal 90. Subtract 63 from both sides. And now you're going to divide each side by 0 0.2. So again, uh, sorry, 63, or 90 minus 63 is 27. And I found out that x is going to be equal to 135%. Nope. It ain't going to happen. And a is out of reach. <laughs> Maybe I should have done this first, but you know, at the same time, this is a realistic example. So then you might want to readjust your expectations, set this equation equal to 80, and solve for x again, and see what it would take to get a b. So I hope this helps. You can use it for any class. Just make sure that you use the appropriate percents. Um, and yeah, uh, when I uh, earlier when I talked about the exams, what I mean by that is you can space them out. You can say 0 0.1 times exam one, if, let's say you had four exams, plus 0 0.1 times exam two, plus dot, 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 as long as they total to equal 0 0.4.
All right, I hope this helps and keep this video handy for the rest of your college career because uh, don't email me. Bye.